filming this? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna set it on the concrete out here. We've got two gauges, this one and this one. Why is that? Uh, this is the low range gauge, this is the high range gauge. So the low range gauge goes up to 60 kips, 60,000 pounds. The high range gauge goes up to 300 kips. So if I think that the specimen will only take 60 kips or less, I would use this gauge. If I think it'll take more than 60 kips, I'd use this gauge. So once I start the test, how do I know which one is working? Now you see these valves here? You get a close-up of the valves here. Okay, so which valve is open now? Right now, the valve that controls the... You can back up now. The, the valve that controls the high-range gauge is open. So I'm going to close that. Because I think today's specimen will take less than 60. So I'm going to read off this gauge. So I'm going to close the valve that controls the high-range gauge. And I'm going to open the valve that controls the low-range gauge. Now, these are like faucets that you have on your sink. Have you ever worked a faucet on a sink? Okay, so now I've opened the valve that controls this load gauge. Okay, there's two needles here. You see the black needle? That's the one that tells me how much load the specimen is enduring. What's this red needle for? Uh, uh, when we start the test, both needles, the red one and the black one, are going to rise together. And then when the specimen fails, the black needle will fall back. But the red needle will freeze at the, at the location at which the uh, maximum load was endured. At the location on the gauge. So uh, for example, if it makes it up to 15,000, let's say that both needles rise up to 15,000. The specimen fails catastrophically. The black needle will fall backwards. But the red needle will freeze at 15,000. So that means that's the maximum load that that specimen took. So I want both needles to start off at zero. You see how both of them are now set at zero? Well, there's a lever over here on the left. So if I move that up, now I've turned it on. I don't hear anything, though. Uh, this is a hydraulically operated machine. Uh, here are the controls for the hydraulic pump. So I press the start button if I want to hear the, uh, if I want to hear that usual noise that we hear once the uh, machine is started, uh, the sound of the hydraulic pump. Anything else? Uh, the load wheel and the unload wheel. So I close the unload wheel so that the hydraulic fluid stays in there. And I'll start off with both the unload and the load wheels closed. Okay, and then I light it up on the bullseye. I light it up on the bullseye like so. Uh, the bullseye, those are the concentric circles. And then I have to put the load cap on top. Yeah, 
Now, can you see anything from back there? It's being recorded, so maybe you'll watch the video later. Okay, I think we can go a little faster than that. What's that? 2,000 pounds. I think there's a certain uh, rate at which we like to add the load, so I'm a little sloppy on that. Uh, 14,000? 15,000? I think I heard something. <laughs> okay. Now next week we'll use that. Uh, we're up to 30, 30 caps a day. 31 caps. Thank <laughs> you. 